Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, so today I'm gonna just gonna go over uh, some of the things on the Yield Max website, um, and then just kind of answer the question: How much are we paying uh, Yield Max as a as a group? Uh, I thought this was just interesting since I was digging around um, anyway, so I might as well um, show you guys too. Uh, so this to me isn't a real problem. Like you know, I think in general uh, Yield Max is doing great. Uh, they're making cover call uh, trading kind of more accessible to the masses so you know they deserve to get paid some so how do how do you uh, go about doing this is like you go under their uh, on the website um, you look for assets under management um, it's, it's a bit of a chore uh, because you have to go through like the net assets um, for each each fund um, so imagine you know doing this like 15 16 times uh, it's, it's a little annoying, but you know, I think this is a fun exercise um, that might be helpful just for us to kind of get a sense of how Yield Max is doing. Um, so right off the bat, uh, Tesla is by far like the most popular one. Um, it's basically over half of like the total assets. Um, this could be good or bad. Uh, I guess like they have a, a lot riding on Tesla um, and NVIDIA is I was kind of surprised um, the second place, like that it's um, kind of behind, but but I guess it makes sense since, since Tesla was like the first, one of the first ones. Um, OARC, unfortunately, was also uh, one of the first ones, but like it's clearly uh, Tesla that's, you know, it's just dominating. Um, so seeing Coney at third place isn't too surprising since like they've been holding up pretty well. Um, and they're still paying out good dividends. Um, AMD, why I'm surprised it's only 21 million, but again, I guess it's because, well, I mean, I, like the whole thing uh, is relatively new. I think all of these are um, probably about like one years old. Uh, I think Tesla and OARC were the kind of like the OGs, and then all these other guys that kind of came in uh, afterwards. Um, and this is just scanning through like the, the list. It kind of makes sense. Most of these are. Um, kind of Magnificent Seven related. Um, and then like, kind of like the other guys, like the, kind of like the more, um, I guess like tried and true, like like Exxon Mobil, Disney, JP Morgan. Uh, I, I was kind of surprised to, not surprised, but I guess like it's, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense that they're closer to the bottom. Um, and then like the new guy, uh, AIYY, uh, uh, I guess it's it's they're doing relatively well since they're the newest one, um, and and yet it's it's still at three million. Uh, it's still overtaking uh, MRNY, which uh, you know in my previous video on like the yield max tier list, uh, their um, like my opinion on that was like this will probably be one of those that wind up getting delisted at, at some point unless they come out uh, unless Moderna comes out with some uh, I don't know. I, I guess literally cur curing cancer. I think that's that will probably be the only thing that saves them. All these other guys, I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, Tesla's will be like the I th I think the king for now. Um, so I basically just added everything up, um, and then I multiplied by like uh, point uh, ninety nine basis points, um, and that gets us to one hundred thirty million. Um, so I think that's you know I guess this. It's fair. Uh, they uh, they're doing a good job, um, especially for a new uh, ETF company. Um, so I'm hoping that they uh, you know spend it wisely. Uh, obviously, the uh, managers and their team of I guess I'm, I'm assuming that they have a team of analysts and and uh, IT staff to um, help support like the the, the research. Um, and I'm really hoping uh, that they're hard at work at uh, you know um, in a in a a video this week uh there's like around 15 etfs that are still kind of like in in the pipeline um and then at, besides that they're, they're probably working on like different strategies too uh so that's probably not cheap um especially if you have to go through like all these data feeds uh like bloomberg etc um so i'm hoping that they're doing some good analytics to see like uh what are some potentially um, some good ones that that could come out, um, and I'm hoping MicroStrategy uh, will be one of them, uh, and that 
that uh, watch out for that analysis because I think um, uh, previous another viewer uh, they uh, they they mentioned that um, it might still be in the works. I was digging through some of the older um, interviews with Jay Presicelli on YouTube to see um, if I can find some some proof about that. Uh, but you know, I'll create it anyway just to show you guys like what's possible with the MicroStrategy uh, ETF. So I think overall, uh, Yieldmax is doing good. Um, I'm hoping like in 2024, uh, we'll see even more like, uh, you know, crazy uh, st uh, strategies um, and crazy good returns. Um, so again, uh, thank you everyone that's taken the time to like and subscribe and watch my, my videos. Um, I think it's important to kind of help spread the good word um, so that, you know, other people find out and then, you know, help push you know, like kind of like maybe spread out like some of the assets around because I think some of these other ones are are worth you know investing in also uh, depending on like the the circumstance. Uh, so you know, I think it's good that Coney is is starting to to accumulate some assets too. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.